And hey, this is Francisco from Dr. Phone, and today I'm going to show you how to recover your lost data from your Android devices. And so, have you ever accidentally deleted any of your data, like things like messages, photos, and contacts, etc.? Well, don't worry, because right now you're going to learn about the safest and the most secure method of recovering all of your Android data, regardless of how you lost it. Before we go ahead and move on to any of those steps, I would just like for you to go ahead and click on that subscribe button and make sure that you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads or any future tutorials moving forward. However, it is going to be very important to note that the sooner that you try to recover all of your data, then the better it is. Because with the longer you wait, the more easy it is for all of your data to be overwritten by complete accident, like just through normal use. I think that it's just best to go ahead and avoid that at all costs. I should first know that, that after we discover some messages have been lost or anything like that on our Android device, no matter how you lost your data, such as accidental deletion, a rooting errors, or black screen, or physical damage, or system crashes, SD card issues, factory reset, ROM flashing, etc., just so much more, this kind of deleted data will be recovered by our Dr. Phone software, no issues. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Well, let's go ahead and start off with the very first step, and that is going to be to launch the Dr. Phone software and then you just have to go into recovery mode from there. But beforehand, do make sure that you have already enabled USB debugging on your Android device. So just go into settings and about and tap on build number seven times until developer settings are unlocked. And then go back and go ahead and click on developer settings and scroll down to find the USB debugging switch. And then go ahead and select that. And then that should enable USB debugging mode. And you should be able to move forward just smoothly from there with the following steps. So let's go ahead and move on to step to now that we have our device ready for actual recovery. So as always, do not forget to download the Dr. Phone software, and you're going to be finding a link to that software down in the description so that you can go ahead and get that, and you can finally recover any of your deleted data so that that way you can keep everything backed up properly. And I'll do make sure to go ahead and plug your phone in, just like so. And then from here, this is going to be the Dr. Phone dashboard. All that you have to do is go ahead and click on data recovery, which is going to be right over here. It's going to be the green button. And it's going to start downloading this particular application regarding Dr. Phone. And this is going to be the tool that we're going to use in order to recover any missing or deleted data, as long as it's not too late to do so. And once you get to the step, your computer is just going to start reading through everything. And then it's going to ask you to actually give this computer permission to your phone as you've already enabled your USB debugging on your smartphone. So do go ahead and confirm that on your smartphone and then go ahead and click on allow so that this is not an issue in the future. And after they've established a very secure connection, you're going to see that you've got all of these categories that you could potentially recover things from. And like over here, for example, it's going to give you the option to recover any kind of deleted contacts or messages, all history, WhatsApp messages and attachments even, photos, audio, videos and documents and things of the like. And by default, it's going to already have everything selected for you. However, if you just want a couple of these things like I do, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on and deselect on select all. And I'm just gonna click on messages to make sure that I can recover some of my older messages, maybe some pictures and videos actually just in case. But I have chosen any of these categories, which in this case were messages, photos, and videos. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And this is going to do a quick scan of your phone to see if it can find any of those missing documents. Like once it's done scanning through, you're going to go ahead and find, I mean, in my case, a bunch of memes and a bunch of screenshots from Pokemon Go from back to those days. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select just a couple of these that I might want to get back just for the sake of nostalgia. Videos over here, I do have like animations and things like that that I would actually love to bring back onto my smartphone. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and select the ones that I want. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one over here. Then this one, some of my previous work that I have previously deleted from my smartphone and things of the like, maybe some GIFs and things like that. And once I've done so, I'm going to go ahead and click on restore to device. And all I have to do from here is make sure that I choose the correct smartphone. And once I've done so, I've only decided to transfer over videos, but do remember that you can transfer over many different things, including photos and videos, in this case, messages and that kind of thing. But I'm only really interested in transferring 
over video. So then once you've done so, just go ahead and click on continue. Uh, so once you've given it like just a couple of seconds or even just minutes, just depending on exactly how much data you are transferring over, like once everything is done, you're going to see this message over here that says the data has been restored to your, my Google Pixel 4. And in this case, if I check back at my Google Pixel 4, I am going to notice that these videos, or in this case, since I, I ended up changing my mind and I just transferred one, that video is going to be back onto my Google Pixel 4. And that essentially marks the end of this particular portion. However, there's still a lot more to come as now I am actually free to unplug my Android device. And after that's taken care of, all they have to do and unplug your phone from your PC just to make sure that all of your data, very least that all of those chunks that you chose to transfer over or to back up onto your phone are actually there and before you move on to anything else. As it is very important to confirm that these steps have actually worked for you. Things like missing text messages and contacts and things of the like, like just make sure that everything is back on your device. And there's also going to be another way of recovering your data. And this time it's going to be from your SD card if your smartphone even supports it. And so with that said, here is how we would go about that. So firstly, I just go ahead and select recover from a C card on the left corner and make sure that you plug in your Android phone onto your PC through a USB cable or just remove the micro SD card if it has it and place it into a card reader. And then once either one is read, just go ahead and click on next. And then from here, a doctor phone, will begin to scan uh, through your phone or your card depending on which one you used. And once that's done, just going to show you everything that has been deleted in the past and then you can go ahead and choose which files you would like to restore back to your phone. And once you've chosen all of those, you're pretty much good to go after just waiting a little while. And after all is said and done, you're going to see that all of your data is back into your Android device. And this will work regardless of how you ended up deleting your data, as long as you've done this in a timely fashion. And though that's going to be essentially everything. And thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And just feel free to leave any kind of questions about this process down in the comments and we will get right back to you. And also, do not forget to subscribe, like I mentioned earlier, and do stay tuned for our next video as we do upload fairly frequently. Also, and make sure that you share this with others if you found it useful. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you on the next one. Have a good one.